everybody welcome back to the cabin I want to show you something while I'm here in the garden uh, planting a few things doing a bit of weeding and, and checking on the plants we finally got some rain so don't have to water at least but I do need to fertilize because a lot of controversy over whether wood chips are good in the in the garden as a mulch or whether or not they steal nitrogen for the from the soil as they're decomposing let's say uh, if you had a compost pile for example and you're trying to create compost out of raw materials you're generally trying to mix nitrogen and carbon so this would be a carbon source dead wood hard material brown material and you would mix that with a green material even leaves like green leaves or uh, well in my case they use things like fish and uh, blood from the animals that I butcher sources of nitrogen and then they mix together and they break down um, but what happens is that the, the uh, woody material the brown material the carbon is actually eating up the nitrogen as it decomposes so when you put wood like this in a garden it does a great job of suppressing weeds and keeping moisture in the soil but potentially is using up the nitrogen at least in the top part of the soil the theory is and the complaint is that it's doing that at such a degree that the plants can't grow properly and the solution seems to be that you just leave it on the surface as long as you don't incorporate it into the soil down to the level of the roots then you'll be fine it won't steal the nitrogen down at root level but I'm finding otherwise this year and it may just be because the soil I've been topping these beds up and still creating soil this is my fourth year so I just keep adding mostly wood chips because that's what I have most available and then leaves in the fall so I think what's happening is the soil has pretty high level of of carbon rather than completely composted soil so it is slowing down these peppers I have a couple of tags in here but they're just tags from previous years these were all well, all the peppers and I'll show you different beds are all grown from seed this winter but when I put them in the bed you'll see plants that are have gone almost completely yellow which is most likely a new uh, a nitrogen deficiency could be a couple of other uh, micronutrients but I'm pretty sure it's nitrogen I think it is because of what I said it's too much wood chip on there or maybe it's because the wood chips are so deep in a couple of these beds that the roots aren't when I put them in here I didn't put them deep enough to get them below the level where the nitrogen is being stolen by the by the carbon on top so some are worse than others and I'm suspecting they're the ones that just got planted more shallow but there's a bed over there and I'll show you in a second that has no wood chips on top it's still just bare soil and those ones are probably twice the size and more green less yellow so I'm not going to dig them up I think I can get them to grow still we're getting enough heat and now some rain so I think the peppers and tomatoes will start taking off but what I have in here is some liquid fertilizer that's like fish emulsion um, what else did I use? Comfrey and stinging nettle. I just put that in a in a garbage can with a lid on it and it's anaerobically fermented essentially. And that um, adds a bunch of nutrients, so nitrogen and phosphorus from especially from the comfrey and some other micronutrients. So I'm gonna top up, put a little bit of of this solution around all of the uh, deficient plants and I'll look back in a couple of days and just see if that helps. Now we're getting a possible thunderstorm. It's extremely humid right now. It's almost 100% humidity and about uh, 30 degrees Celsius. So if we get a thunderstorm which would be awesome that's going to pull some nitrogen out of the atmosphere too and put it into the garden so in the usable form for the uh, plant. So I'm hoping that's what happens. Today. So I might get a skewed <laughs> experiment here which see there's one that's dead completely but anyway i think this is going to help regardless of whether it uh, the, the uh, results are skewed by the by a potential lightning storm anyway let's see what happens over 
film this in a week or so and just show you give you an update see how they're doing this is the garlic that i planted last november this bed and another bed over here that i'll show you uh, i'm not sure how much i had in here but i know i had planted enough that i figured i'd have enough for i think two cloves per day and then another um, sufficient amount left over to seed so I'll replant again this november it's at the stage right now and it's just a few days past the summer solstice or a couple of days after it's at the stage where the garlic scapes need to be harvested so this is the flower that's creating the seed now if i let these plants put the energy into growing reproducing basically so re uh, creating seeds then it's going to take that energy away from the bulb instead of forming a big bulb with some good sized cloves so i'm just going to snap all these off and then we'll freeze dry them and make a powder probably or we'll um yeah, you're breathing into the camera <laughs> Or we'll just chop them up and freeze dry them and they'll stay green. And we can just add them to our stir fries and, uh, and for Todd in the morning. What are you doing? Hmm? You're hot, eh? We're going to have to go swimming again. It's been so humid the last few days, which the bugs love, and we do not. Anyway, I'm going to get this done and then we'll go for a walk and go for a swim, eh? Kelly's Beach. Better go in a row here. I'm gonna miss some. Got potatoes coming up in several of the beds from last year. Obviously, when I was digging them up, I missed some. And you leave some potatoes in the ground, it's the same as planting them. Even though we're in this cold climate, I think we get enough snow cover that the potatoes don't rot in the ground. They just sit there dormant. And then spring comes and they I think it's time to grow again so almost like I rotated beds this year so I have, to, I have potatoes in different beds so essentially all of the beds last year I had potatoes in have something new in them but potatoes are coming up there and then all the new beds that I planted with potatoes have potatoes coming up so we are going to have I think last year we had 500 pounds I'd have to check Emily's notes but I think 500 pounds between the two gardens and this year we might end up with 600 pounds, I'm thinking. Although I did plant less around the cabin this year. 